Guiding starts the moment you wake up till the moment you go to sleep. Guiding is such an integral part to climbing in everyday life that for me, I can't even tell where guiding ends and life begins. It's all just interwoven in this just beautiful, endless guidemanship is the only way I could put it. Uh. <laughs> We're in a remote guide's hut, shaking off a little bit of vino from last night. Hoping to get a couple more guides pitches in before we make our way home. Oh, yeah! Yeah, we had a stellar trip here. We were really blown away by what we saw. This place gets two thumbs up in my books. Well, with the whole, just to saying as a guide all the time, it just kind of reaffirms your, your belief in yourself, I find. It's basically just a little self pep talk. Just saying, fuck you. At the end of every sentence, as a guide, makes me think that I'm making the right decision. morning you pour yourself a guide's coffee, At the end of the day you crack a guide's beer, you rig a rappel, you make a guide's rappel, you tie your guide's knot. Guiding doesn't end when you get back to the car. What do you think, is this a guide's hat or what? I think this is the best hat ever. Should we close the door? Yeah. Just close the shit. I like it backwards. That's the way. <laughs> <laughs> this guy can't walk down the streets at Hobart in a guide's hat anymore? I climbed this route called the Wizard, which was uh, this really cool, maybe 30 meter, 35 meter micro scene. Bars gear, right up my alley, kind of what I really love to climb. Yeah, really get a kick out of that stuff. Kind of got to screw your head on tight before anything like that. And luckily it worked out. Didn't take a terrible whipper. People hire guides for good decision making. Guiding's a way of life, really. It's just guiding through the, the loose rocks of life, you know? Nice, Willie. It's, it's an art form, really. Okay, on the way. Oh, fuck, there's no gear around here. I found a micro wire. Yeah, it's okay. It's fucking micro, but whatever. This is when you fucking drop this little blue in. Fucking yank her down. Oh yeah, Daddy like that. Daddy throws that in. Daddy's happy. Can you take us there, Prophet? Oh yeah, there's that's the Sunny Charter Memorial piece right there. Daddy like that. Guide it. Okay, and this is where we lace it. Take things to Squadron Country. Can you take us there, please, as a guide. Well, that was the difference. I just guided it better, I think. Simple meal for some simple folk. <laughs> guide's avocado, some guide's spaghetti, some guide's cheese. I'm gonna divvy it out this correct guide's rations. It's a guide's ration of Willow Glen. I don't see how that's such a crime. It's, yeah, just technical, kind of funky, little spooky. Um, packs punch. I try and keep my head together with the help of the Willow Glen. Yeah, we're psyched. It's a cool little mission. Excited to uh, drop the hammer tomorrow after uh, coffee in the morning. Uh, where's the sunshine?
is like a really intuitive climber. He doesn't always have the sequence like completely locked down. And he'll be going, ah, oh, did I go left hand or right hand to that, to that hold? Makes for a really exciting belay. Yeah. It's always awesome when he when he sticks it, and uh, he he pulled that off on the. It never gets old. Cannot be a little wigger. Yibbity yibbity yibbity. God, that was cool. That is such a good route. Stepping up to the plate, rising to the occasion would be some cliches, but uh, you know, no matter how many times that you have you have to do it, it never gets old and it's always uh, um, no, but basically with that whole guiding talk, it's just, it's kind of a long running joke because years ago Sonny and I took this guides course together and there was a lot of talk where the instructors would always finish every sentence with, as a guide, and um, we just thought it was hysterical. It's kind of, it's probably close to a decade ago and we still say it. We're still guiding? We're still guiding since that day.